Hey everybody! We have read many books about trees recently. In these books, we have learned about the different variety of trees, and we have learned about how trees change through the seasons. Today's lesson will help us learn more about why we need trees. Today, we will be reading "We Planted a Tree." It is written by Diane Muldrow and illustrated by Bob Sataki. Join me as we explore what trees can do for us. We planted a tree. We planted a tree, and it grew up. We planted a tree, and it grew up while it reached for the sky and the sun. The sunshine went into the leaves, and brought food to the tree, and the tree grew up. What did the tree need to grow? It needed air, sunshine, food, and water. Fat little buds appeared on the branches. When we read the book *A Tree for All Seasons*, we learned what grows from buds. Do any of you remember what can sprout from buds? Yes, leaves and flowers. If you have not listened to that book yet, a link is in the description below. The sunshine went into the buds, and soon they burst open. Everywhere it was pink, and we were dizzy with springtime. The sun kept shining. The pink blossoms dropped off, but soon there were green leaves—green, green, shiny leaves—which had food inside for the tree. Green, green, shiny leaves, which cooled us and kept the earth cool too. We planted a tree, and it grew up and gave us a shady place. The tree's leaves helped clean the air, and we breathed better. The tree fed us apples and oranges and lemons. What other fruits can come from a tree? Some other fruits include cherries, pears, and coconuts. And it gave us sap for our syrup. What type of tree provides us with sap? Yes, maple trees give us sap. We planted a tree, and it grew up. The tree kept the soil from blowing away. Now rainwater could stay in the earth. The soil became healthier because the tree was there. So we planted. We planted butternut squash and beans, corn and onions and cabbage in the healthy soil, the rich dark soil. What else could you plant in a garden? We could grow our own food, and we ate better. And the tree dropped acorns. The acorns fed the squirrels in winter, and birds came. In the book, who will plant a tree? The squirrel planted an acorn. What kind of tree grew from that acorn? An oak tree grew. Other animals came too. They all came to live with the tree. We planted a tree, and that one tree made the world better. How did the tree make the world better? Some ways that it made the world better are providing us with shade, food, and clean air. We planted a tree, and that one tree helped heal the earth. Trees help heal the earth by cooling the earth down and by cleaning our air. We planted a tree, and it grew up. And so did we. What are your favorite things that trees do for us? I like that they provide us with clean air and they provide us with yummy fruits such as cherries. Thank you for joining me as we learned all about what trees can do for us. If you want to learn more about trees, you can find a link in the description below for other tree stories. If you enjoyed this book, please like the video and subscribe to my channel for more read-alouds and interactive lessons. See you all next time. Goodbye, friends.